People with autoimmune disorders, including psoriasis, lupus, and rheumatoid arthritis, are more likely to develop cardiovascular disease even though none of these diseases appear to affect the cardiovascular system directly. But how do you do it? What are the things you can do to take good care of your heart? Hello, this is Scope Care. We are raising health awareness one step at a time. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to ensure that you do not miss any of our incredible videos. Let's get started with the topic for today. There appears to be a relationship between cardiac disease and certain autoimmune illnesses. The main reason for this is that autoimmune diseases induce inflammation of the body, making you more susceptible to heart disease. If you have an autoimmune disease, you should visit a heart disease center to determine your risk of cardiovascular disease. A cardiologist can also assist you in taking preventive measures to avoid heart disease. However, for those unfamiliar, an autoimmune illness is a condition in which your immune system attacks your body by mistake. Usually the immune system protects us against pathogens such as bacteria and viruses, it sends out an army of fighter cells to attack these foreign invaders when it detects them. Usually, your immune system can distinguish between alien and native cells. With an autoimmune disease, the immune system misidentifies parts of your body, such as your joints or skin, as an alien. Autoantibodies are proteins released by the body that assault healthy cells. A total of 80 distinct autoimmune disorders exist, here are a few of the most common. Type 1 diabetes is the first on the list. Insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas that aids in blood sugar regulation. The immune system targets and destroys insulin-producing cells in the pancreas in type 1 diabetes mellitus. Blood cells and organs such as the heart, kidneys, eyes, and nerves can be damaged by high blood sugar levels. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune condition, in case you didn't know. The immune system targets the joints in rheumatoid arthritis. The joints become red, heated, aching, and stiff as a result of this onslaught. Unlike osteoarthritis, which typically affects people as they get older, RA can begin in your 30s or even earlier. Psoriasis or psoriatic arthritis is one of the most frequently occurring autoimmune illnesses. When skin cells are no longer needed, they naturally shed. Skin cells multiply too quickly in psoriasis without shedding. The excess cells build up and cause inflammatory red patches on the skin, sometimes accompanied by silver-white plaque scales. Swelling, stiffness, and pain in the joints affect up to 30% of patients with psoriasis. Psoriatic arthritis is the name for this type of arthritis. Have you ever heard of multiple sclerosis or MS? It is, after all, an autoimmune disease. Multiple sclerosis wreaks havoc on your central nervous system's myelin sheath, the protective coating that covers nerve cells. The transmission speed of messages between your brain and spinal cord to and from the rest of your body is slowed when the myelin sheath is damaged. Numbness, weakness, balance concerns, and difficulty walking indicate nerve injury. There are various types of the disease, each with a different rate of progression. According to a 2012 study, roughly half of persons with it required assistance walking within 15 years of diagnosis. Systemic lupus erythematosus is another well-known autoimmune illness. Although lupus was initially thought to be a skin disease because of the rash it causes, the systemic form, which is the most common, affects various organs, including the joints, kidneys, brain, and heart. The most common symptoms include joint discomfort, tiredness, and rashes. There are only a few of the most prevalent types of autoimmune disease, if you'd like us to discuss more, please leave a comment below. Let us now discuss the relationship between autoimmune diseases and heart disease. 
According to research, autoimmune diseases have been discovered to be a substantial risk factor for heart disease. Patients with severe autoimmune illness are more likely to develop coronary heart disease or have heart attacks. Inflammation is the leading cause of this. In all types of autoimmune diseases, the immune system misidentifies healthy cells, tissues, or organs as foreign invaders, triggering usually defensive responses, including inflammation. As a result, those with autoimmune diseases who have the most inflammation are at the highest risk of getting a heart disease. Cardiovascular disease is most common in those with lupus, diabetes, and psoriasis. You might wonder whether heart disease with autoimmune conditions is preventable. The good news is that heart disease can be avoided even in patients with an autoimmune condition. A cardiologist or cardiac surgeon can help you develop a treatment plan to reduce inflammation and reduce the risk of heart disease depending on the type of autoimmune problem you have. Lifestyle modifications and anti-inflammatory diet, exercise, supplements, and medication are all options for treatment. Careful monitoring of your health and accompanying symptoms can also aid in the control of inflammation and the early detection of heart disease warning signs. This is why it's critical to establish frequent contact with a heart vascular center in your area. Regular checks and care are available at a heart disease clinic to help you combat the risk of heart disease. All right, friends. Before we get into some of the ways that you may take care of your heart despite having an autoimmune disease, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you appreciate what you've seen so far. There are things you can do every day to take good care of your heart and feel healthier if you have an autoimmune disease. Of course, the first thing is to eat well. Meals that are well-balanced and include fruits, vegetables, whole grains, fat-free or low-fat milk products, and lean protein sources should be prioritized. Saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, salt, and added sugars should all be avoided. Food will provide you with the nutrients you require if you follow a healthy eating plan. You should also engage in some form of regular physical activity. However, be careful not to overdo it. Consult your doctor about the sorts of physical activity that are appropriate for you. People with long-term muscular and joint discomfort can benefit from a progressive and gentle exercise routine. Some yoga and tai chi routines may be beneficial. And remember to get plenty of rest. Rest permits your body's tissues and joints to restore themselves. Sleeping is an excellent technique to help your body and mind. Your stress level and symptoms may worsen if you don't get enough sleep. You won't be able to fight off illnesses as well if you don't get enough sleep. When you're well rested, you'll be able to deal with challenges more effectively and reduce your risk of disease. To feel well rested, most people require at least seven to nine hours of sleep per day. Friends, give healing gardens a try. Healing gardens provide fresh air and encourage the growth of cancer-fighting cells. People who stroll through a forest or healing garden inhale phytoncides, which boost the number of their natural killer or NK cells, a type of white blood cell that strengthens the immune system and is linked to a lower risk of cancer, according to Lee's research at Nippon Medical School. In addition to fighting infections and autoimmune diseases, NK cells are thought to play a role in reducing inflammation, which is linked to various diseases, including heart disease and diabetes. Finally, stress reduction is essential. Some autoimmune disorders can be triggered by stress and anxiety, which can cause symptoms to flare up. Finding strategies to simplify your life and manage daily challenges will therefore assist you in feeling your best. Simple relaxation techniques such as meditation, self-hypnosis, and guided imagery can help you reduce stress, manage pain, and deal with other elements of living with your disease. You can learn to perform these things with the guidance of self-help books, recordings, or an instructor. 
Participating in a support group or speaking with a counselor can also help you manage your stress levels and cope with your illness. Okay, before we wrap up this video, there are three things you should remember. First and foremost, the impact of autoimmune illnesses on cardiac risk varies depending on the type of disease. People with lupus, for example, are up to 50 times more likely than those without the condition to suffer a heart attack, according to one study, while those with Sjogren's syndrome have a heart attack risk that is twice as high. Next, autoimmune illnesses are connected to an increased risk of cardiovascular disease and diabetes due to chronic inflammation. Autoimmune disorders are a group of over 100 ailments in which the body turns on itself because the immune system misidentifies healthy cells, tissues, or organs as foreign invaders, triggering typically defensive responses such as inflammation that never stops. According to a systematic study, patients with the most severe inflammation had the highest risk of CVD and or diabetes. Last but not least, all heart attacks and strokes can be avoided. While having an autoimmune disease increases your chance of getting cardiovascular disease, or CVD, the primary cause of death in both men and women in the United States, the good news is that several effective science-backed treatments can help you avoid CVD. If you currently have it, treatment options include customized lifestyle and nutritional adjustments, oral wellness since gum disease inflammation can contribute to CV risk, drugs, and supplements. According to a recent peer-reviewed study, the Bale-Danine method is highly effective at quickly shrinking and stabilizing arterial plaque in persons with CVD, so it doesn't trigger a heart attack or stroke. Are these details beneficial to you? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. That concludes today's video. Please subscribe to the channel and switch on alerts to receive updates of new uploads. Scope Care here and we'll see you in the following video.